Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Library Hunter, where we explore the wonderful world of libraries and books together. This time, as you might guess from the title, we're not taking a typical library walk. Instead, we're diving headfirst into the most famous bookstore in Los Angeles, California. You might be wondering with a name like Last Bookstore, why the sense of urgency? Well, truth be told, it's not just about rushing to grab your favorite book. It's more about being a haven for books in this digital age, a true book lover sanctuary. Are you ready? Let's go. When you're in this neighborhood, remember to stay safe. The Los Angeles downtown area could be full of surprises, so it's good to keep an eye on what's around you. Some good practices are like, stay on well-lit streets, especially at night, and watch your stuff. Try to avoid dark alleys or empty places. You can also use buses or ride shares if you're out at night, and if you drive, be careful with one-way roads and parking rules. Parking near the last bookstore in downtown Los Angeles can be a bit challenging due to the area's popularity and limited parking spaces. My advice is to choose some public garage parking that has a flat rate so that you are free to stay in the bookstore for as long as you like. When we step inside, it's like hopping into a time machine, whisking us back to the groovy era of the 50s and 60s. The entrance alone feels like a blast from the past, and that's just the start of this incredible bookstore journey. The last bookstore isn't your run-of-the-mill book book. It's the largest independent new and used bookstore in California and ranks in the top five across the entire USA. Impressive, right? Nestled right in the heart of downtown Los Angeles, this bookstore occupies the former home of a bank on Spring Street. It sprawls across a whopping 22,000 square feet with towering 24-foot high ceilings and two stories. Look at the massive pillars, elegant chandeliers, and twinkling lights on the mezzanine's balcony. It's like a grand literary gesture mixed with vintage fantasy. Thanks to its whimsical atmosphere and prime location, it's not just a bookstore. It's an ideal spot for all sorts of events, from cocktail parties to fashion shows. You can even host a book signing or a private party here, turning it into a sophisticated meeting space, a sparkling fairyland, or a scene straight out of a gothic novel. The longer you stay, the more it feels like you're exploring a bibliophile's wonderland. Towering bookshelves are packed with every genre imaginable, from romance to sci-fi, and even that obscure collection of duck poetry you never knew you needed. It's like stepping into Narnia, but instead of a wardrobe, you've got a creaky old door. As a regular visitor to libraries, I have to admit that libraries and bookstores share some similarities, such as offering a wide range of books and cozy corners. But apparently, there's a big difference. Bookstores like this one are like libraries' spunky cousins, adding a dash of fun and spontaneity to your reading adventures. In a library, silence reigns supreme, but bookstores? They are like, sure, grab a book, have a coffee, and make yourself at home. In this place, it is totally acceptable to hear somebody giggling at a funny passage or dramatically sighing when their favorite character meets their demise. In fact, it's a better place to hang out with friends. Now let's be real. This place isn't just about books. It's evolved into more of an attraction than a mere bookstore. People come not just for the books, but also for the unique artistic setup that's perfect for selfies and pictures. But hold on, there's more. The last bookstore in LA has an incredible lineup of musical goodies that will make your heart sing. They've got a fantastic collection of CDs that'll leave you spinning with joy. 
from classic rock to funky beats, there's something for every musical taste. You might even stumble upon that elusive album you've been hunting for since the 90s. And here's the secret stash. They've got vinyl records too. That's right. You can dive into crates of vinyl like a modern day treasure hunt. It's like a journey back in time. And who knows? you might discover that one record that becomes the soundtrack to your life. So, whether you're a music enthusiast, a bookworm, or simply in search of a unique find, the last bookstore's music collection and secondhand treasures have got you covered. It's like a double scoop of happiness. With books and music, you'll leave with a smile on your face and a song in your heart. Did you know that this incredible bookstore is open to host sleepovers during April 2023? After spending a night with his family last year, sleeping near the dinosaurs at the Field Museum in Chicago, the founder of the bookstore, Josh Spencer, decided to host sleepovers there during the first half of April. In an article from Los Angeles Times, Josh said, quote, people are always mentioning wanting to sleep in the bookstore. Maybe we should try this there. To test it out, he launched Spring Break Sleepovers as a 21 and over experience. A standard spot was priced at $195 per person, but the most popular spots in the store, including the upstairs book tunnel, the horror vault, the classics vault from the former bank, and the portal, were $500 for two people. Over the course of two weeks, Spencer said that about two dozen people signed up. This sounds like a once in a lifetime experience would you be interested? Have you heard of the term book talk? This seems to be a rather new word on TikTok. People began sharing short videos about books using the hashtag book talk. This made books more famous, especially young adults. I did a quick research and found that TikTok has a unique algorithm that promotes content based on user engagement. When a book talk video received likes, comments, and shares, it could quickly go viral, exposing books to a wide audience. Personally, I'm still more used to the traditional ways to encounter books, but I'm excited that the bookstore chose to participate in this new wave. Authors and publishers got involved, and BookTok became a community for book lovers to chat, share recommendations, and discuss their favorite reads, changing how people discover books in the digital age. Wow, this sign really knows how to keep us on our toes. Removal of books is strictly prohibited, unless you're planning to buy the damn things. I guess they've got a point. They're not just any books. They're potential new friends waiting to come home with you, right?
In addition to the Lovely Kids book space, there's also a serene room featuring a special collection of old, rare books. Outside of this room is vibrant fun for the little kids, and inside is a peaceful retreat for vintage book enthusiasts. dim lighting made it necessary to use flashlights to view the books. Surprisingly, the moody atmosphere seems to attract several models and photographers, who find the dark ambiance a favorite spot for capturing mysterious shots. Stepping into this alluring and exquisite, privately gated room inside the last bookstore, it dedicates itself to first editions, signed books, design, art, photography, and architecture. The bookstore buy and sell the most sought-after fine art books and collectibles available. Thankfully, the last bookstore isn't a literal statement, but the name and sign are enough to pique the curiosity of anyone wandering around downtown Los Angeles. On the second floor, there are fantastic surprises aplenty, including antique bank vaults, a labyrinth maze leading to a world-famous book tunnel, and hundreds of thousands of new and used books and records to explore. I'd like to keep my library tour videos under 20 minutes, so stay tuned for part two, where we'll delve into more creative wonders on the second floor. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any fun adventures with me. This is Kathy, the Library Hunter. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow book enthusiasts. See you in part two. Bye.